welcome on board Manish Tiwari uh, joining us on the show right now Manish hi good morning good to have you on the show uh, your growth projected by logistics companies and you know analyst has been revised downwards versus what uh, it was at earlier in the year while flipkart and amazon expect to clock a combined gmv of about 5 billion dollars how do you see it happen amid a slowdown any specific categories that you're very confident about or offerings that you're betting on for the festive sales to you know indicate a growth of 30% plus um as you rightly pointed out we continue to be very very buoyant about the festive season um Yes, we've been reading. I personally have been reading a lot about the slowdown, but what I do want to share with you is um, e-commerce is still a very small part of the retail business, and therefore a slowdown um, would take a lot of time to actually reach uh, such a small segment. Um, at Amazon, we've not uh, seen any signs of a slowdown, and um, we are super excited about the festival season, and uh, this is going to be a special one for us. because um, last year we crossed 100 million customers and uh, this diwali season promises to be uh, the next big leap as we target the next 100 million customers in india and if you look at it uh, we start preparing for the festival season um, almost a year back and um, so if you go back to last diwali we had around 350000 sellers on our marketplace this year as we enter we have close to 500000 plus sellers on our marketplace um if you look in terms of uh, the the capacity which we put in order to ensure that our customers get their packages very quickly we are now touching close to 24 million cubic feet uh, spread across 13 states so we have been working very hard to ensure that our customers get the best possible selection so as we speak uh, we are offering close to 200 million unique products to our customers so if you go back to last diwali the number was closer to 170 million so we've been preparing for this and uh, we've seen no signs of slowdown in terms of customers coming both in terms of repeat customers and new customers uh, even today as we speak more than 85% of our new customers continue to come from tier 2 and new cities yeah so you're saying that you didn't witness a slowdown how can a macro trend not deter people from making purchases purchases even if it's online and what really would you say has shielded e-tailers like yourself from the slowdown woes uh, we too small compared to the overall retail market so you know macro trends hit you when you are actually a large percentage of the market and uh, amazon is uh, a very very small uh, player right now and if you look at overall e-commerce also i mean it's anywhere from 2 to 3% of the market so that's really really tiny compared to the overall market the second reason which is equally important is um we've been working really really hard to provide what we believe is the best possible service to our customers so we we are very customer focused as a company and uh, the investments which we've done be it in terms of language be it in terms of technology be it in terms of speed uh, be it in terms of tying up with financing partners these small steps i think ensures that customers continue to come to amazon.in and we continue to attract new customers and one of the the lead indicators for a slowdown is when um, new customers stop coming to your place uh, and we've not seen that so i think combination of what we've been doing and the fact that we are so small vis-a-vis the overall retail market is probably the reason why we've not seen any signs of a slowdown right yeah I mean, till now what about the sellers are you giving them the kind of discount before are you seeing any changes there Yeah, I think uh, one of the things which does happen is a lot of our sellers sell offline and online, as you are aware, and uh, sellers are seeing more and more success on Amazon dot in, and therefore uh, we believe that sellers are investing more of their time and energy on making sure they succeed on Amazon dot in. Um, as far <coughs> as uh, if you look at it, what happens is we still have a month or so to go before the season starts. Um, we see some of the lead indicators in terms of the inventory being brought in by sellers. are very very encouraging and it's well well ahead of what we experienced last year so we believe that sellers have choices to make about where they want to succeed and they look for signs from that marketplace or from that store whether they can whether it's easy to succeed there i think they see those positive signs from amazon dot in both in terms of prime customers and new customers and therefore i believe that they invest their best uh, on amazon dot in um 
In terms of pricing, it's still too early for me to know what sellers would be pricing their products at. But uh, do we anticipate a better Diwali for our end customers vis-a-vis -vis last year? The answer to that would be yes, we do. You're saying that you're not impacted by a slowdown. What has led to a 15-20% downward revision in estimates versus early projections? As far as uh, the business, which is Amazon, which I am aware of, um, there is absolutely no downward revision per se. Uh, these are probably extrapolations or market signals someone is indicating. But as far as uh, we at Amazon are concerned, um, I mean, we are completely in line with what we had planned at the beginning of the year. And um, we don't see any reason to uh, uh, reduce the estimates, etc. Sure. Um, after I muted uh, first half as well, and also post the revised e-commerce policy kicked in in February, how aggressive are e-tailers uh, now becoming in order to win customers? This is possibly the last window now to boost sales. How's Amazon doing it without busting its budget? Uh, some of these large shopping festivals or shopping seasons are very good uh, periods of time to acquire new customers because that's when every customer is looking for uh, where should they buy his or her uh, festival, whatever, gifting or per for personal consumption. And therefore, every large um, festival season, we actually have a, a dramatic shift in terms of the number of transacting customers on Amazon.in. And that's what our prime focus is on, yeah, to get more customers. Uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, what we've been doing throughout is, um, if you look at the pace of our investment in infrastructure, be it in terms of uh, uh, our warehouses, our sort centers, our last mile delivery centers, or in terms of technology, or in terms of the ecosystem, whether it's Amazon Prime, Amazon Music, or in terms of scaling up our seller ecosystem, like I said, added more than 150,000 sellers, uh, we've been investing throughout the year to make sure that we actually have a good Diwali season. So as far as I am concerned, there has absolutely been no change in our trajectory in terms of the way we invest to make sure that the marketplace is a delight for our customers in India. Okay, and the overall trend seen this festive season compared to the last, let's say, two, three years, you were mentioning how rapidly tier two markets are expanding. Is the trend likely to get better this time around? Yeah, sure. I, I think there, um, yeah, I, I, if you look at the, I mean, we've had five Diwalis in India so far, and each Diwali has actually been uh, far bigger than the previous one, and that's uh, logical because it's a marketplace which is still building up and in early stages. Um, I think there are a few things which we are uh, expecting this Diwali, which would, um, I would not say be different from last Diwali, but I think we would see a further spike in it. I think the first is we would see a further spike in customers coming from smaller cities. And uh, uh, we've seen the early trends of that after we introduced Hindi as a language uh, for our customers to shop. Uh, the second place where we would uh, definitely see uh, further strengthening of the trends is uh, a lot of customers are looking at easy ways to buy things. So we are very conscious that we want to give customers a choice of buying things which they want to and make sure that they can afford to pay for it, which can be in various ways. So today we offer an exchange program. The number of PIN codes in which you could exchange last year versus this Diwali has doubled. And most of it has happened in smaller cities. Um, in terms of uh, no-cost EMI, which bank partners offer, um, this Diwali you would see it across uh, a huge range of brands and banks. Uh, EMI will be offered by almost every leading bank uh, in the country for Amazon.in customers. So the second trend which uh, I believe and I, I think would further strengthen is people wanting to use more and more instruments and offerings which come from our sellers to make it more affordable for them to do the Diwali shopping. And the third is of course, um, at one end we have our prime customers whose frequency and uh, in terms of the kind of uh, cross-category purchase they do keeps on increasing and at the same at the other end we have new customers coming in and most of our new customers come in from categories like fashion uh, home and kitchen that's where they enter onto amazon.in so there are there are two ends to this customer spectrum and prime customers of course buy almost everything from us so like I said more customers from smaller cities more focus on affordability no cost EMI and third, of course, is the speed at which we deliver because customers are anxious to get their goods quickly. And we have set up an infrastructure which we believe would hopefully meet the needs of our customers during this Diwali. 
Right. Uh, could you also give us some color on your category breakup? Uh, and, you know, what about payments? Uh, is it maximum versus cash uh, as opposed to credit? Yeah, we, we, we don't uh, share our uh, segment breakup, um, but I can give you a flavor of it. Uh, um, our consumer electronics business continues to be a largest business, but that's more in terms of value. In terms of customers and units, uh, fashion and grocery are the larger businesses. Um, so that's what I would say they are, uh, uh, in value terms, it's consumer electronics, and in terms of units and new customers, it's fashion, overall fashion and overall grocery. Um, and by the way, uh, what, is really, uh, what is really good about this uh, entire festival season, one, of course, it's a combination of festivals, um, starting from Durga Puja, and then you have Diwali, and then you have Dhanteras. And more importantly, this is a period where we actually see a huge spike in grocery shopping also. Uh, because this is a time when you have a lot of relatives, visitors, and therefore we see that spike. So, like I said, we will, we, we, um, our, our reading is we will witness a spike across most of our businesses, and, and that's what is exciting for a marketplace like ours. Right. So this Diwali, uh, which are the categories which you think are going to see the highest spike in terms of sales? So in terms of growth, it will clearly be fashion and um, grocery. Uh, these are categories, like I said, more and more new customers are coming into. Um, so in terms of unit growth, it will definitely be fashion and grocery. In terms of most value metrics and performances, it will continue to be uh, mobile phones and consumer electronics, which will be really, really large. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, uh, Manish. Good chatting with you on how things are looking currently.